And I'm Len Schroeder. And I'm Julio Zamora. And on today's show, we're going to talk about tomatoes. Ooh. We'll explain terms thrown around that often leave you confused, like what is an indeterminate tomato plant variety? We're also going to talk about what makes a tomato an heirloom variety. Then we're going to talk about solutions to common growing problems, raising tomatoes. And then finally, we're going to wrap up today's show by giving you tips on growing your best tomatoes ever. So stay tuned and join us back in the garden after this short break. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Dreaming of a gorgeous garden? Give your azaleas, rhododendron, blueberries, and evergreens a powerful boost with their number one acid-loving plant food, Espoma Organic Hollytone. Hollytone is a perfect blend of natural long-lasting ingredients that nourish plants for stronger roots, faster growth, and bountiful blooms. Plus, it's easy to use and safe for people, pets, and planet. Visit Espoma.com for a retailer near you and helpful gardening tips. Espoma, a natural in the garden since 1929. The Bird Sanctuary at Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is dedicated to the care and feeding of wild birds. We carry a flock of feeders like the Brome Squirrel Proof Feeder, which has a lifetime guarantee. Brome makes fantastic feeders for frustrating squirrels and feeding songbirds. Bloomer's Bird Sanctuary has a vast selection of wild bird seed, suet, seed cakes, and mealworms. We carry Lyric, Cole, CNS, Pine Tree Farms, and our own line called Bloomer's Blend. Bloomer's Blend Songbird Magnet contains premium black oil sunflower, peanut splits, millet, safflower, and tree nuts. It's sure to attract the most colorful songbirds to your yard. Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is located in Washington Township in Gloucester County, New Jersey. Visit us online at www.bloomers.com. When you come in, ask for Shirley Spurbeck, Bloomer's Wild Bird Specialist. Mention you heard it on Bloomers in the Garden Radio, and we'll give you $10 off a 20-pound bag of Bloomers Blend Songbird Magnet Mix. Well, and here we are, and uh, we're going to talk a this, this, uh, few segments here about demystifying growing tomatoes. <laughs> oh, and, and it is. It's everybody prides themselves on growing the best tomatoes in the neighborhood, don't That's they? That's right. Yes, All they right. do. You know, well, mm -hmm. let's start off. Before we get into right. heirloom tomatoes, right? there's classifications of tomatoes. There's a lot of people say, oh, I want a beefsteak. Uh-huh. They're not. Beefsteak is a variety, but they're actually asking for a type. So let, let's go oh, okay. through those types. How many are there? There's beef, beefsteak type. Okay. Okay. That's right. going to be one of those big, big meaty, ones. big slicing tomatoes. Okay. You know, the biggest tomato you can get. A lot of people say, oh, look, I go... This size, I mean, there's a variety in here that mm -hmm. it grows. I think it's almost two pound tomatoes. Wow, or bigger. You're kidding? No, nope. <laughs> no. The now Belgian what, what giant. You, now, what would you basically use beef steak tomatoes for? Well, that's going to be for sandwiches, sandwiches and for slicing and things like that. Okay. But and salads. Right. I mean, and anyway. salads. Yeah. But let me okay. let me don't don't hey don't interrupt. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there's beef steak type. Right. There's a medium slicer, which is going to be again a step down, a little smaller, a little smaller. but still a typical right. tomato that you would you would get. Mm -hmm. um, also plum tomatoes, plum, a little smaller. Making sauces. Oh, okay. Uh, things like that. You use it for Italian different things. Sauce. Like a t there's several different varieties. Wow. We're going to talk about that later, though. There's mm -hmm. cherries, cherries, which are round. Okay. Like a cherry. Right. Different sizes, though. Right. There's grape tomatoes. Grape. Grape tomatoes. Okay. That again, shaped like a grape. Grape, and then there's uh, salad tomatoes. Salad. There's they also have some some other names. Some people call them just saladette. Some people call uh -huh. them like one of the varieties yeah. is sweet 100. They're small, round. Sometimes they're called cocktail tomatoes. Cocktail. They're wow. just small. So mm -hmm. let's let's review real quick. Right. Beef steak. Beef steak. Medium mm -hmm. slicer. Okay. Plum. Plum. Cherry. Grape. Right. Okay. And let's call it cocktail. And that's going to be a small, round, like marble-sized tomato. Marble. Okay. Smaller than a cherry. Smaller. Wow. But 
we started talking about heirloom tomatoes. What the heck is an heirloom tomato? Ooh. <laughs> tell you what, it's, it's, they've been, that's the whole thing. They've been around for a long time. Okay. And that, that's what an heirloom is. It's, it's an old type of tomato that has been in use for over 40 years. Wow. It's a generational um, kind of thing? A generational uh-huh. thing. Okay, it's not been modified in, in any way, so it's no, not it's, a, a, it's not genetically modified. It's uh-huh. not necessarily. It was a hybrid back in the day. Oh, it was. Oh, you think of it. It was like this is you know this is going to yeah. be the best you know brandy wine. Like that's a high that's a an right. heirloom tomato. Sure, it's going to be the best tomato ever. Right, it is good, isn't it? It is oh. good, but that's not what I wanted to to get into. Right, um, the the thing that makes an heirloom an heirloom is just that it's been used for a very long time okay. and also there are different crosses like you could cross two heirloom tomatoes what you get? and actually you get it still retains that heirloom same, quality oh, so oh, there are some people that will save their seeds uh-huh. right they'll save their seeds sure. and they'll just use their seeds it's it's pretty amazing uh, wow i like that yeah mm-hmm. right um Let's see, that, again, using heirlooms, right? And again, it's, it's the heirlooms that you see available. Like we have so many different tomato varieties, oh my goodness. right? Like the Cherokee series, right. like there's, oh, yeah. but it's not just Cherokee. There's Cherokee purple, there's Cherokee chocolate, there's mm-hmm. Cherokee green. Mm-hmm. All of those wow. are, again, heirloom, heirloom. tomatoes. Right. And you, were, um, and you were talking about the one that you were talking about was uh, brandy wine red. Correct. Now there's a new one called brandy wine yellow. How about that? That's right. Wow. That's right. And again, crossing and getting different varieties without genetically modified mm-hmm. mortgage lifter, sun gold, yellow mm-hmm. ox heart. All of those are varieties that are open pollinated. Mm-hmm. Again, it's it's basically natural organic going back to wow. the original plant. That's nice. Of what it was, not having to. I guess breed it right. so that it comes special. Right. You know, it's oh, yeah. you know, it's like there are so many new tomatoes that come out, uh-huh. um, and there's even grafted tomatoes that wow. are available. I mean, that's that's serious stuff. So when you get a heirloom, you, are you getting that same heirloom all the time? You're not. Ch- it's not changing at Correct. all. Correct. Okay. Correct. There, oh, there's okay. there's not. A, it, and again, it, it's a. Openly pollinated variety, so naturally pollinated, mm-hmm. okay, and that has been in production right. for fifty years or longer. Like wow. Jetstar, to me, I think is you know it's been personally. I know that that it's been around for at least forty years. Ooh, you know, long time. and it's a and it is mm-hmm. a long time. Now I notice my my brandy wine is really huge. Are they the same size as the beef steak or not? Oh, there's the, it. Or just, that's not a rule. Oh no! That what? Because for instance, there are uh, cherry tomatoes that are heirloom tomatoes. Oh really? There are plum oh. tomatoes that are that are heirloom tomatoes. No kidding. So yeah. it's not just those that we know of. Correct. There's, there's more. Correct. Okay. Correct. Um, I think it is overdone mm-hmm. about heirloom tomatoes. Oh yeah. How's that? <laughs> just the fact that Did they you? are. Uh-huh. So to have some unique, and they're ugly tomatoes, a lot of them. Uh-huh. <laughs> but you can get a really nice tomato without them being uh, heirloom. And the the thought uh-huh. is is that sure. it goes back to a flavor that is more distinct. Uh, okay. That in mm-hmm. you know, right? Pe- what people don't want is they don't want a grocery store tomato. Yeah. And if you're growing your tomato in your garden. You're not going to have a grocery store tomato. You yeah. need to pick it when it's time to pick it. Right. Most grocery store tomatoes are picked when they're green, yeah. and Terrible. that they are they <laughs> no basically ripen yeah. as they're being brought to market. Right. Because they have to be handled so often. Wow. If you took a garden tomato mm-hmm. when it was ripe and put it in a box and sent it to, it'd be it'd be more like tomato sauce by oh, the time it got to your goodness. to your home. <laughs> <laughs> so you better put it in a jar. That's right. <laughs> and that's the difference. Oh, okay. that's the difference. But heirlooms, they're fun. There's mm-hmm. a lot of different varieties, and, mm-hmm. and you should try some. But don't get hung up on saying I only want heirlooms. Yeah, you're because stuck. there are too many other varieties that uh, you may be yeah. missing out on. That's right. There, because again, quite. improvements that are being made 
are even better for, uh, yeah it, it's for taste it's okay. for you know there's problems with skin cracking on certain tomatoes wow. and and your production's going to be better on right. certain varieties so so pick the tomatoes that you like uh-huh. pay attention that if it happens to be an heirloom right. and everything is going to be labeled at bloomers anyway it's going to uh, be labeled that's good to know, Len. that it's an heirloom cuz sometimes those heirlooms are hard to really <laughs> to, to oh care. it's it's just it Tomatoes are confusing. They are confusing. Tomatoes are confusing. <laughs> and you know what? What? When, in our next segment that's uh-huh. coming up, we're going to talk about determinate and Ooh. indeterminate for types of tomatoes. Oh, I know. good. <laughs> yeah, whatever that means. That's right. All right, we'll be right back after this. Are you tired of insects ruining your trees and shrubs? Need a product that will prevent insect damage on tall trees but can't reach the top of your trees with your sprayer? Bonide has the answer. Annual Tree and Shrub Insect Control kills insects on trees and shrubs from the inside out. One easy application kills most insects, including leaf miners and borers. One early spring application prevents insect infestations for up to one year. No spraying, no ladders, no mess. Just mix as directed, using a bucket or watering can, and pour at the base of the tree or shrub. The systemic insecticide is absorbed through the roots and will travel through the entire plant. It will not wash off. Bonite Annual Tree and Shrub Insect Control can be found at Aiken Back Garden Center, Pottstown, PA. Westchester Agway, Westchester, PA. Pickering Valley Feed and Farm, Exton, PA. Bloomers in the Garden is an hour-long gardening radio program that airs to over 6 million residents throughout the Delaware Valley. From Allentown to Wilmington, from the Main Line to the Jersey Shore, Bloomers in the Garden can be heard twice each Saturday morning, first at 8 a.m. on 860 WWDB and again at 9 on 610 a.m. ESPN Radio. Each episode of Bloomers in the Garden will be broadcast on Bloomers Facebook page and available as a podcast on bloomersinthegarden.com. Bloomers in the Garden is adding sponsors. Share your message to our large, diverse group of listeners. Commercials and segment sponsorships are available at incredibly affordable prices. Let Bloomers in the Garden get your message out to one of the largest and most diverse populations in the country. If you're interested in joining us in the garden, please visit bloomersinthegarden.com or email len at bloomers.com. Spring has sprung and it's time to visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bring us a soil sample and we'll test your soil's pH free. Heck, bring us a water sample from your pond too and we'll test that for ammonia and other critical levels. Did you know that Bloomers has a pond department? We have all of the water treatments, fish and plants to keep your pond looking glorious year round. Are you looking for that four-step lawn program? Bloomers carries Scott's, Jonathan Green, Bonide and Espoma's organic step program. Need to seed? Bloomers has its own blend of seed called Township Turf. It's just the right balance of rye, fescue, and bluegrass to give you a spectacular lawn. It's also perfect for repairing bare spots and matches extraordinarily well to sodded lawns. Don't forget the garden. Bloomers carries bumper crop soil amendment and all the fertilizers a garden could need. Both organic and inorganic. The best vegetables start as seedlings from Bloomers. Come visit those who know the friendly folks at Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is located in Washington Township in Gloucester County, New Jersey, just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. For directions and information, visit www.bloomers.com. That's www.bloomers.com. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, we're back. Yes. All right. right. Confusing. Uh-huh. Com- Sometimes I think we make it too hard on ourselves and you too did. hard on the people that we're trying to teach uh-huh. how to garden, right? Sure. I think so. Joy of gardening, That's right? right? The joy, joy of gardening. Yes, and make Don't it simple. get hung up on terms. That's right. Don't let it stop you. Don't nah. be intimidated. Yeah. One of those terms, determinant. determinant. It's a determinant variety or it's right. an indeterminate variety. Determinant. <laughs> you know, it's so stupid. Uh-huh. It's so stupid. Did, now, now I'm going to mm-hmm. quiz you. What is a, an indeterminate variety of tomato? Indeter- now, see, you got me confused. <laughs> <laughs> see? See, okay. and you're a pro. I know. You're a pro. And it, it, that kind of stuff drives me oh, nuts. You know, indeterminate is when it's, it's a plant, it's a tomato plant that's growing tall. 
Right. And it's going to have a long season of harvest. So it never stops growing. That's right. Until the frost. Until the frost. Indeterminate. Mm -hmm. It has an indeterminate time of growth. That's right. (laughs) Well, well, aren't you, Mr. (laughs) Know-it-all? Where a determinate variety Uh will get to a certain size, and that's it. Shorter. So it's going to be more compact, shorter, things like Mm -hmm. that. But I had... uh, Somebody who works at Bloomer's Bill is telling me, it's like, I had tomato plants that were like only three foot tall, and I had uh-huh. this one that was like eight foot tall. <laughs> now, that's go. the difference between determinate and, and indeterminate. Right. Now, production-wise, right. I don't know if I should say this, but I uh-huh. believe that you'll get more production from an indeterminate variety, mm-hmm. but that may not be true on okay. all varieties because there are so many. There right. are so many. So, mm-hmm. let's, again... I suggest if you really are concerned about growing plants that are compact and small and you only have a small space to work with, you should look for determinate varieties, Mm -hmm. like in containers. If you're growing in containers, determinate varieties. Mm -hmm. Uh, That, that again, that's going to be bush varieties, like patio. 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 Mm -hmm. (laughs) Do you have any patio tomatoes? Uh Patio is actually a variety. How about that? But... What people ask for is kind of like, do you have any beef steaks, beef steak varieties? Oh, that's not like, going to work. Again, no, no. Think about this. Uh-huh. So. People ask for beef steak okay. varieties of tomatoes. They're not necessarily asking for the variety called beef steak. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. So the same thing they're asking for. Do you have patio tomatoes? Mm-hmm. They're asking for a plant, not the variety <laughs> patio, but the variety that can grow in a container, container. or a determinate type of a sure. plant. A plant, right. Okay, huh. so there's patio, obviously, patio. And then bush champion. Bush champion, and, wow. And that there's celebrity gets big, okay, celebrity. Like, that's a production tomato. That's They're grown out they're in the grown. fields. Oh, yeah. We've grown back mm-hmm. in the farm days. Wow. Um, there's anything that has that bush name bush. in it mm-hmm. is going to be a compact grower. Right. May still need to be staked, depending on the mm-hmm. variety. That's where you have to read the tag, read, read the, labels, the tag, right. read the tag, mm-hmm. read the tag. Talk to your garden center. That is that why is going to your independent garden center mm-hmm. is so important yes. because they will be able to tell you which, what, which right? one to use. Mm-hmm. Tim from Lumber that happens to be working in the seasonal apartment today because they're shorthanded can't tell you what variety is going to be good in a container oh wow go to your Mm -hmm. independent garden center okay Mm -hmm. leave the boxes for lumber Mm -hmm. and go to (laughs) your (laughs) and go to your independent garden center because they will hold your hand and help you with having the best garden you ever had right and again let's let's go back to to growing containers containers right Right. Uh, again Mm -hmm. patio is going to be a smaller variety smaller fruit it's but it's still a slicer still still a slicer still can slice and you can't make the mistake of going big boy because regular big boys are indeterminate where big boy bush is not is not that is a okay. determinant determinant and that's what you're looking for and that's really all you need to know now then uh, are the tomatoes a little, little smaller on, on these no the bush oh they, depends on the variety okay right because because okay. again there's another one that mm-hmm. You can put in a hanging basket. Oh, wow. like and we actually have them available at Bloomers in right. hanging baskets already. Wow! And and again, Tumbler is one. Tumbling, uh, Tumbling Tom Tumbling. is, is, that the one is another. Mm-hmm. That those do great in hanging baskets. Wow! But there are just I mean, there's so many. Like there's a there's a bush early girl. Early girl bush. That, wow! That you you can use um, better bush hybrids. Better All bush. of those are going to be determinate. Variety, so it's determinant. It's mm-hmm. determined size. Determined it has size. a determined size. Right. That's good to know. That is absolutely good to know because if you have an indeterminate variety, oh, uh, what's going to happen? <laughs> it's going to grow tomatoes <laughs> until the frost and uh, just keep growing and growing and growing and the, growing. Uh, you better like tomatoes. That's right, <laughs> <laughs> because they're going to give you the most yield, Oof. and it's really some of the best tomatoes that you can get. Right, determinant varieties. There are different types but compared to the indeterminate varieties i think there's plenty more of those more determinate yep wow. and keep in mind you're gonna they're gonna be bigger plants those plants are gonna be indeterminate they can be eight like bill is saying they're oh, gonna yeah. be eight foot tall oh my gosh so you determine 
the determine for yourself. There you go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Anyway, you're going to have to decide whether you want to go and stake them or not. Right. Um, staking is, is good right. for your plants, and we're going to get into that in the, it's one of the last segments. Right. It you want air circulation around right. your plants yeah. to for disease problems disease and problem. things like that. Good so sense. when you're planting indeterminate varieties, they're going to get big. Uh-huh. And most of the tags, again, they're going to have on them how big that they can get and, and such. Mm-hmm. Maybe not exactly, not like mm-hmm. a shrub would where, shrub. you know, it's in full sun. It gets to be four to six feet, right. you know, type of thing. Oh, yeah. But it's, you're going to know and it's going to be, you know, like like we have, if you're looking on YouTube right now, uh-huh. we have a, a right. table full of tomatoes. Oh, wow. And like, for instance, it's going to give you a good idea of how far apart you're going to need to plant things. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, I would try to stake it. Mm-hmm. Stake your tomatoes. Right. Because, and use a good stake. But mm-hmm. again, I'm getting ahead of ourselves. That's mm-hmm. another segment. Right. So, indeterminate. Determinate. Probably the most plentiful, plentiful of yes. all of the varieties. Get plenty. Determinant are going to be the yeah. ones that are going to be more of a bush type. Right. Container plant, and that when they're done, mm-hmm. they're done. They're done. They're done. So how so, long so would that when be? they, I don't know. It depends on the variety. You can't answer that question. Oh, that's right. There's so many. No, oh. no not that, Julio. But it depends uh-huh. on the variety. But the variety. but also when the point is, if you put in tomatoes right. and you think you're going to get them till September, October, and you planted determinate varieties, you're not. not. Happen. Mm-hmm. You're not. They're going to get to a certain size and stop. Wow. And then their production stops. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. That's something to to consider. Keep, yeah. Yeah. That's good to, yep, you got to keep that in mind. Need are more compact. Right. So using different varieties. Right. But just being aware, if you're grabbing determinate varieties, thinking that they'll, they'll be more compact and easier, to, all of a sudden you may not get the yield that you're used mm-hmm. to right. because all these years you've been growing indeterminate types. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. So again, wow. TMI. TMI. Too much information. <laughs> but it's something that you, right. if you're armed with that information, you're you know to to, that you can ignore it. Mm-hmm. You know? Because <laughs> <laughs> really? uh, if you get worried and hung up on well, determinate, indeterminate, sometimes it like, you know, you get paralyzed. Like, what crazy. do I do? What do I do? Oh, yeah. Determinate varieties are right. good for compact areas, mm-hmm. containers, hanging baskets, things right. like that. But understand that your yield may not, not be as, much. as long. Okay. Understood? Yep. Got it. Sure. Yep. All right. That's good to know. All I, right. I need to know that. Good. All right. Good. <laughs> All right. Coming up, we're going to talk about popular choices Ooh. in tomatoes and okay. varieties. Wow. So we'll be right back after this. Beautiful. Stay tuned for the Bloomers Garden Minute. The Garden Minute is brought to you by Bloomers in the Garden, Philadelphia Garden Radio. Find us on the radio dial or on the web at bloomers.com. This is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden for the Garden Minute. Now that the weather is getting nicer, don't forget about your houseplants. Houseplants are also coming out of dormancy, and it's time to start fertilizing. Start them off slow with a 50% solution of water-soluble fertilizer. We recommend Jack's Classic. It's the original Peters fertilizer from back in the day. Wait a couple of weeks before feeding again, and then once a month when you water. Wake those houseplants up gently and start checking for insects. The plants aren't the only things getting active. Thanks for listening to the Garden Minute. If you have a gardening question, call the gardening hotline at 609-685-1880. Call the hotline 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Today's Garden Minute was brought to you by Bloomers in the Garden, Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Also brought to you by VPG, the Fertilome people. Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix with EcoPeat is the perfect ready-to-use potting mix for all your succulents. Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix is a blend of sphagnum peat moss, perlite, and eco-peat. Eco-peat is a natural wood fiber from peat bogs. When added to Fertilome peat moss, it produces a superior professional substrate with an exceptional ratio of air porosity and water holding capacity. Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix will ensure maximum drainage with ideal water retention. It's simply the best succulent mix on the market. Ask for Fertilome by name at your local garden center. Available at Daniel's Garden Center, Sumney Town Pike, Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Gasper's Home and Garden, 316 Tanyard Road, Richboro, PA. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? 
If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Okay, lad, we're going to talk about popular tomato choices. Oh, boy. There are, there, there are tons and oh, tons and tons. Oh, my goodness. We have 25, 30 different <laughs> varieties at least. Uh, at least, And yes. it's still early. I know. And it's still early. Super early, yes. You know, <laughs> let's, let's quick just, again, we're going to talk about varieties, varieties. And, and of how they're packaged. Like right. you can buy cell packs of tomatoes where you get four plants in four a pack. Plants. Right. Right? And so... Right. Again, there's those come in trays, mm-hmm. and you can buy a full tray, or you can buy right. just the four plants. plants. That's probably the most economical way to buy them, mm-hmm. cheap per plant. Right. But then you can buy four inch pots of tomatoes, or right. roughly four inch. Sometimes they're three and a half. Three sometimes and a half. they're four, four and a half. Different size. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then you can buy one gallon size tomatoes, yeah. and those are right. big, big tomatoes. Ones. But right. what happens is if you want to grow a lot of different varieties, you're going to be, if you go and you have to buy a four-pack or you have a lot of room, that's right. fine. But when right. you don't, nah. you got to buy individuals. Now, that being said, mm-hmm. let's talk about types again. Type, yep. Beefsteak type. Beef type. Steak. Right. Beefsteak type. Not a beefsteak by variety, mm-hmm. although, okay, mm-hmm. <laughs> a beefsteak variety is a beefsteak type of tomato. Right. All right. What other types of beefsteak type tomatoes are available? There is Carolina Gold. Gold? Yes. Is it yellow? Mm-hmm. Non-acid. Not acid. Non-acid ah. tomato. Nice. Right. Yeah, for those people who have acid problems. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's, well, like acid. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that's that's right. There you go. All right. That's a great No choice. Prilosec. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, again, that, that, uh, again it... it Yellow have a tendency to be non-acid, right? But it's a Carolina Gold is wow. a big tomato, going to be fruits up to uh, anywhere from a pound, nice up uh, to uh, let's say a pound, a pound up to a pound well, or good. larger. Ooh, I like that. So one. that's a beefsteak type. Mm-hmm. Give me another one. Uh, no, big boys, big boys. Oh yes, I like those. Do you know that there's What's big that? boy uh-huh. and there's better boy? Uh-huh. Okay, okay, and it's big beef, big beef, <laughs> all. <laughs> Beefsteak type tomatoes. Wow. They're all big. I mean, <laughs> all and all big. Yeah, that's great. All big. That's what we like, huh, lad? That That's right. Yeah, big. We like and the big ones. Big tomatoes. Now, there's that other one. Which one? Uh, Belgium Giant. Oh, is that new or what? <laughs> it's not no? Not necessarily new. No? Okay. Belgium Giant. Fruit fine. up to five pounds. No. <laughs> wow. That thing. It's like that a watermelon. A <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is a watermelon. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, man. That I think if outrageous. I saw a five-pound tomato, I think I'd fall on the ground. <laughs> 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 That's right. You would. <laughs> Let's just say it's a beefsteak type, and it's going to be really big. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Belgium yeah. Giant. Yeah, for those big people. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. you know, and, but like a beefsteak and oh, yeah. those big boys, they're going to be up to two pounds. That's pretty they're big. They're big. Yeah, that's a big yeah. yeah, yeah, that is a nice size. Yeah, and then, mm-hmm. and then again, there's so there's just so many different types. Oh my goodness! You know, Julio, you've got a list over there. Oh, I got a list. I, I mean, let a, me hear some of the varieties. Like, and we have most of these varieties. We have Be- uh, we have Belgium Giant, right? All right, that's a beef. Uh, Better Boy, yep. Big Beef Hybrid, yep. We have the Big Boy that we're talking about, right? Yep. And um, early girl, early girl, yeah. another one, yeah, another one, yeah. And there's a big girl, Carolina gold, yeah. There's <laughs> that gold. There's lots of gold. Oh, there's a lot of gold. Are. Yeah. Now, would you say they're a little sweeter than the regular red ones? Or to be honest with you, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know. I wonder uh, what. Hey, try it. Everybody out. out there, try one. Let me know. Yeah, that's right. Call us. <laughs> hey, call the hotline. Right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And then there's all of the the Cherokee varieties. That's that, right. That those heirlooms. Right. They're like again. Beef steak beef type. Steak type, yeah. Okay, it's going to be, you know, a big, big, up to two pounds right. or larger. Right. So that's what we're talking about. Uh, so nice. then a slicer tomato. A little lower. A slicing tomato. A little, a little smaller. A little smaller. Okay. A little smaller fruit, more plentiful sometimes. 
Okay. Yep, you get right. more of them. Uh-huh. So that's going to be like a Jetstar. Jetstar, Supersonic. Right. Jetstar, wow. You know, Jetstar. And, and it's a meaty. It's meaty. Yeah. Right? Low in acid. Wow, I like that. But yet it's a red, not a yellow. No, it's a red. Red fruit. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Um, Rutgers. Rutgers. Yeah. Rutgers become very popular, wow. but it's an old variety. It's it not is. new. Wow. It's not new, but it but it's having like a rebirth. Ah. Um, Cuz if people forgot about it or what? I I just think that somebody wrote an article. Oh yeah. <laughs> somebody like us. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you watch that Belgium That's giant is like, "Can you have any Belgium giants?" Yeah, yeah the that, Belgium giant. I mean, could you imagine a 5 pound tomato? Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe we that's like a that typo. One, I, don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but again, small, medium-sized slicers a lot of times. Uh-huh. Again, here we go. We're going to throw a term around. The indeterminate varieties. Indeterminate, right. We'll have, you know, a, again, total production throughout the entire year without stopping. That's great. Yep. So, yeah. uh, again, it, it's there are so many different varieties mm-hmm. that are that medium that they're going to be up to a pound. A pound. Okay. So. That's anyway, good. all right. That's so what's next? Meat. We've got plum tomatoes. Plum, yes. Plum tomatoes. When I'm making my sauce, right? right. Okay. That I'm looking for a San Marzano. Oh. That's a you know, you see that those yeah. are imported usually imported, Italian yeah. yes. plum tomatoes. Yes. You can grow Very your special. own. Yeah. You can import your own from New Jersey or Pennsylvania Jersey, yeah, because yeah. you <laughs> grew them. <laughs> there you go. How good is that sauce oh, going to be? I'm telling you. Uh, what? Uh, it's going to be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we like that. That's right. Amish paste. Ooh, ooh. Again, another, another type nice of uh, plum tomato. Right. Right. Viva Italiano. Yeah, we have that here, right? Now. Yes, we do. It's sitting yeah. on our table. Those yeah. of you watching on YouTube, That's here we right. go. There it right is. there. Oh, huh. Right there. And I mean, what's today's date? Do you know today's uh, date? Today's Let's see. 11th? It's the 13th. No, 13th. 13th. Oh, yep. yeah, it's right, the 13th. It's the 13th, and that, and that it's early. Oh, it it's is. early. It's early, so so don't don't be running out today to go no. No. plant um, unless no. you're willing to cover them. That's okay? right. You can go out and pick them up. You can do it, but remember, it's going to be a little bit yeah, early. Yeah, a little early. So that soil is going to be cold. Right. All right, so that's plum tomatoes. Mm-hmm. What about, uh, let's see, cherry? we've got cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes, yeah. There's large cherry. Like cherries, mm-hmm. uh, they... <laughs> they all have names like cherry. Cherry. I mean, yeah. the, the, again, there's a lot of different ones. Grape tomatoes Grape. are probably the widest range of the smaller types uh-huh. where there's chocolate sprinkles. Obviously, it's going to be chocolate. Oh, oh. Um, it is. There's uh, Fantastico is one. Fantastico. Um, again, they're, they're, sprinkles. You know, we're forgetting, too. You know, we didn't mention the pear the varieties. Pear. Oh. They are shaped like a pear. Oh, how about but that? Are, but are sweeter. Oh, that's um, good. Now let me see. And that's we a grape. Where, that's a grape tomato. That it, it it is not. Oh, a pear is. is different. You have a grape tomato that's over there. What, what did you do with it? Did one of those Jack guys Star. from this? One of those producers yeah. steal it? Oh, I think he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again, he liked that pear. <laughs> that again, grape mm-hmm. tomatoes. There are a bunch of different types of grape tomatoes. Okay. Um, Juliet is probably Juliet. the most popular. Mm-hmm. Very, very prolific. Mm-hmm. You'll get a lot of lot of tomatoes. I mean, kids wow. live off of those things. Oh yeah, they <laughs> pop them in their mouth. Yep, <laughs> yep. And then, speaking of small, uh-huh. there's a small variety that we talked about earlier, right. a salad type salad. Or, or a mini type, and, and that that's going to be um, sweet one hundred. Sweet one hundred. Wow. That, that's going to be. Uh, Are they prolific? Oops, I, found, I found the Juliet tomatoes oh, right in front of me. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, yeah, Sweet 100 is probably one of the most popular, but there are uh-huh. so many now. Right. Red Racer, Red again, Racer, cocktail wow. tomatoes, small, cocktail. tiny, like mini cherries. Mini, mini. Wow. Like you can tell the difference because a cherry, a uh-huh. regular cherry, uh-huh. it has some, it, 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 it's got like, not dimples, but, but, it, <laughs> but it's the size of it is pretty, it's not big, but it's not, it's like the size of a jawbreaker. Oh, okay. Okay, or mm-hmm. smaller. Smaller. Where the red racers are, are the size of like a marble. Uh, so even smaller? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. No, no. Red ra- uh, the cocktail varieties are smaller. smaller. Sweet 100s are the same size. Same size. Yep. Wow. Yep. So, again, lots lots of varieties. Boy, you lots do. Lots of varieties. Uh, tons. You, we could do this entire show For just talking about different <laughs> varieties of wow. tomatoes. It, it's, it's incredible. It is. It's mind-boggling. Garden centers. Yes. Garden centers oh, yeah. have varieties. Let me let, let me let you know a secret. Go ahead, Len. There are growers out there uh-huh. 
that are more concerned about how the plant looks on the shelf than the how it does in your garden. Oh. Bloomers and most independent garden centers are not dealing with those Great. places. Good. Sometimes there is a growth regulator that are put on plants mm -hmm. so that they don't get real big, so that they look nice on the bench. Mm -hmm. So they stay there longer right. and have a longer shelf life. Oh. We do not deal with anybody wow. who does that. There you go. And and oh. that what happens, it stunts the plant. Oh. And so that plant is stunted so it looks nice in that little four inch pot and it stays nice yeah. and it looks like Yeah. Do you that, know where your food comes from? That's right. That's right. When it comes from bloomers or your local garden mm -hmm. center, you are getting plants that are going to be the best, the safest, and not have right. that kind of baloney where it's <laughs> it's artificially treated so that it stays nice in the pot so it has a nice package. We're giving right. you the varieties and the there best choices. Also, we have organic varieties right, that have right. never been touched by never. any type of insecticide mm -hmm. or fertilizer wow. that is not organic. And right. it's certified OMRI organic. Wow, that's great. That can I say something? Yes, sir. Thank you for saying that because that is so important, you know, where our food comes from. That's right. So go to your garden center and pick up these great varieties that we have. And grow your own. That's right. Grow your own. Grow your own. Grow That's, your own. And it's easy and it's joyful. That's right. That's and we right. want you to get started now. That's it. That's it. All right. We're going to help you out in the next segment. That's so right. coming up. We're going to take care of some common problems that you get with raising tomatoes. We'll be back after this. Introducing miracle Grow's next big thing, Performance Organics. Finally, organics that work. Tested and refined by plant scientists for twice the results. Guaranteed. Don't grow a snack. Grow a feast. Don't grow a flower. Grow a million dollar view. This new organic collection of soil and plant food is what you've always wanted. No compromise, just results. Guaranteed. Miracle Grow Performance Organics. Do you want a picture perfect lawn? Are broadleaf weeds like dandelions, clover, or dollar weed taking over your lawn? Bonod has your weed problem solved. Bonod's fast acting weed and feed uses a very effective four way weed killer that works through the roots and shoots of your lawn. Bonide's Weed and Feed will eliminate tough-to-kill broadleaf and grassy weeds like onion grass, dollar weed, and dandelions. These weeds are no match for Bonide's Weed and Feed. Bonide's Weed and Feed kills over 200 hard-to-kill broadleaf weeds while giving your lawn a gentle 8-10 to 10 week feeding. Would you like to gently feed your lawn without any weed killers? Bonide can help you with that as well. Use Bonide's Premium Lawn Food with Vital X to feed your lawn for up to 8 to 10 weeks. The additional Vital X micronutrients helps your lawn maintain that healthy dark green color. So don't wait to get that picture perfect lawn. Stop and purchase some of Bonide's DuraTurf Lawn products today. Bonide products are family made in America. Find Bonide's DuraTurf Lawn products at these fine retailers. Feeney's, Feasterville, PA, Dublin Agway, Dublin, PA. Magnolia Gardens, Magnolia, New Jersey. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. All right. All right. We are back. Yes. All right. Well, there, there, are, there are a bunch of problems with tomatoes that we get every year. Most one that we get is, is going to be the, the awesome end rot. Right. And what it looks like is a scab that forms mm. on the bottom of the tomato. Oh. And everybody goes, I've got a disease. I've got an insect. I've right. got a thing. <laughs> they don't have any of those. Right. What is caused by blossom end rot? Oh, my goodness. It's, it's a problem with your soil. Calcium deficiency. Calcium, yes. It's a calcium mm. deficiency. That's right. Your tomato plant is not getting enough calcium it's from the soil. soil. Mm -hmm. Now, there are sprays that you can spray, and it's absorbed yeah. through the plant. But 
take care of this problem before you plant. Oh yeah. By you, again, you're going to add your bumper crop. You're going to add. You're going to mix that into the mm-hmm. soil. But you're going to add Magic Cow from Jonathan Green. That's right. Most people know it as a lawn product, right. but it's not. No, it's not. Mm-mm. You use that on your tomatoes. That's great. That's good yep. news. So again, it it. You use Magical. It's going right. to add the calcium to the soil. What else does it do, Len? Again, it, it's magic. Magic. Magnesium. Magnesium. I. I. Magic. I. I. Iron. Iron. Cal. Cal. Calcium. calcium. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> there you can have uh, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, again, it's adding those micronutrients uh-huh. that your plants need Beautiful. that you don't get from regular fertilizer. There you go. Um Ooh. We love it's, that product. It's not online. 10, 10, 10, uh-huh. not 5, 10, 5. All that is chemical, and it's yeah. gone after a good hard rain. There you go. Um, you're going to use Magic Cow. That's right. Yep. You and yep. I discussed mm-hmm. um, where blossom, there's blossom drop on tomatoes that happens. I get people that will, will say, I, my, I don't, I'm not getting any, any tomatoes. Right. Now, two things cause that. I'm not getting any tomatoes. Mm-hmm. One, mm-hmm. that the, t- the flowers aren't pollinating. Right. And they're dropping and they're falling off. A lot of times it happens in cooler weather. Mm-hmm. But another one, too, is just keep – this goes back to that indeterminate or determinate. Your tomatoes may be stopped producing because they're a determinant type right. and the party's over. Oh, boy. Yeah, <laughs> They're just not going <laughs> to produce anymore. That's right. But first we're going to deal with the, – the, the one issue is, is – Every year it happens where all the, t- the flowers, they come on the plant, but it doesn't right. form any any tomatoes. None at all. No. Mm. Tell me, Julio, tell me about Blossom Set Spray. Oh, yes. This is a Bonide product, great product. It's called Tomato and Blossom Set Spray. Absolutely. Right? Yep. And what that does is it hel- it's useful for pollinating your, your plants. And that's what they need when, the, when, you're, when you were just saying that right now, Len. About they're having a they're struggling because you know whatever it is it's you know, the you know, the flowers aren't producing anything they're not now you out. can do this when your plants are fine oh yes that's great you can do it right now yep as soon as you get your plants boom right yep that's what a great product <laughs> and what it does is it's it's a hormone it's a hormone okay yes. now mm-hmm. organic growers may not like this but uh-huh. uh it is going to make your yield that mm, much higher more. And wow. it's going to also, it's going to almost guarantee where every spot you have a flower, you're going to have a tomato. Oh, that's guaranteed, huh? That's wow. right. Oh, look at that. That's right. You can't beat that at all, folks. So, when, uh, you know, we you really highly recommend this product. Yeah, you, you're going to start using it when you first see blossoms form and start. Mm, right. You know, you're you're going to do it, and and again, it's going to be done like every other week. Right. And your tomatoes. You'll never have more tomatoes if you do this. Oh. It sets the fruit on the plant. Mm-hmm. And also when it's cold, you're not getting as many. Like, for instance, if we're getting like cold today. nights or we're, mm-hmm. it's cold, right. there's not that, as many bees aren't as active. That's They're right. not, like, again, this time of the year. It's, it's again, we're the 13th yeah. of April. Right. It's Early. been beautiful, mm-hmm. but there's not the oh, bees that you'll yeah. see in the summertime. mm Bees and butterflies, butterflies and all those things, they aren't doing nothing. They're not, no, not yet. And that, so they're not pollinating necessarily that's your right. garden plants. So this is uh, this is your pollinator There right you here. go. That's right. The, <laughs> there you go. Again, it, and, and what's that called again, Julio? It is called, it, by Bonide, it's called Tomato and Blossom Set Spray. Don't leave home without it because that's it's right. really great. And, and you'll get more production than you've ever had before. Oh, and yes. you also, I mean, it just, mm-hmm. it's going to, if you've had problems before, I mean, I, I've had people where they're almost like, they tell me like it's, uh, they're embarrassed. Like they're going to the doctor. It's like, I don't have any <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. And that's what's happening right. is that their tomatoes are dropping off dropping before off. they have the yeah. chance to get pollinated. This will stop that. Yes. Try it. Try yeah, it one try year. It. Just try it this year. Try it on one plant. Oh, yes. How about that? Yeah, try Then you one. really know. Oh, yeah. Then you really know. So if, if you have like a couple of same of the same so variety, ones, try, yeah. one try one plant and just do that one plant. It's and, what the other and, one does. And then next year, uh-huh. call us on the hotline. And there you us. go. <laughs> <laughs> next year, you'll be thanking us the first harvest. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. And, and again, make sure you're using Magic Cal or another type of calcium. Uh-huh. You can use bone meal, mm-hmm. but Magic Cal gives you a little bit extra right it, you know there's and there's magical 
it's a mix between Love Your Soil and Magic Cal. There's the right. one for acid soil. Acid soil. That right. is a combo. So you're mm -hmm. also getting the benefit of a pH, right. you pH. stabilizer. Mm -hmm. Again, wonderful. Go to your garden center. There you go. Talk to your garden centers. Come to Bloomers. Come to Bloomers. We yeah. will walk you through all right. of this. But again, it's go right. to your garden centers because they will know. You know, Timmy yep. from Lumber isn't going to be able to help you. No, he's not. But your local <laughs> garden center will be able to give you the answer. That's right. Thank all you. right. We've got more answers coming up right after this. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. The Bird Sanctuary at Bloomers Home and Garden Center is dedicated to the care and feeding of wild birds. We carry a flock of feeders like the Brome Squirrel Proof Feeder, which has a lifetime guarantee. Brome makes fantastic feeders for frustrating squirrels and feeding songbirds. Bloomer's Bird Sanctuary has a vast selection of wild bird seed, suet, seed cakes, and mealworms. We carry Lyric, Cole, CNS, Pine Tree Farms, and our own line called Bloomer's Blend. Bloomer's Blend Songbird Magnet contains premium black oil sunflower peanut splits, millet, safflower, and tree nuts. It's sure to attract the most colorful songbirds to your yard. Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is located in Washington Township in Gloucester County, New Jersey. Visit us online at www.bloomers.com. When you come in, ask for Shirley Spurbeck, Bloomer's Wild Bird Specialist. Mention you heard it on Bloomer's in the Garden Radio, and we'll give you $10 off a 20-pound bag of Bloomer's Blend Songbird Magnet Mix. Tired of pale green, weedy results from four-step lawn programs? That's because they don't do anything for the soil. The New American Lawn four-step program feeds the lawn and the soil. MagiCal Plus, a unique soil food that adjusts soil pH, loosens hard soil, and feeds soil microbes is the key difference. Without the right soil conditions, you'll never enjoy a great lawn. Competitive programs simply don't match up. So feed your lawn and your soil with the new American Lawn 4-Step Program by Jonathan Green. Jonathan Green products can be found at these fine stores. Action Hardware, Wilmington, Delaware. Hokesson Hardware, Hokesson, Delaware. Gaspers Garden Center, Richboro, Pennsylvania. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. We are back, and we are going to give you some tips on growing your best tomatoes ever. Ever. Ever, yes. Ever. Ever. No, that's more movie. <laughs> Brett knows that movie. Oh, he does? Forever. Oh, what movie is that forever. from, you know? Uh-uh. What? Nope. I can't hear you. Oh, you can't? What movie? Sandlot. Sandlot. That's it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> Way to go, Brett. Good job, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, first things you do mm -hmm. before you go and plant, okay, you're putting bumper crop in. Right. Bumper crop in the soil, Number mix one. it in. It's a great compost, has lobster shells, mm -hmm. it has it, it has everything but the kitchen, kitchen sink. sink. That's okay? right. <laughs> you use it, okay? Use it. Use it. Yep. Mix it in. I think it's a bag per 10 square feet, mm -hmm. 50 square feet. I don't remember. It's right, on the yeah. back of the bag. Right. But you want to put more in. Don't mm -hmm. cheapen was, out. Right. Don't you will skip. have the best soil That's right. ever. Ah. Forever. Right. Um, <laughs> then, right. right after that, you're going to put in Magic, Magic Cow. Cow yes. oh. Bone meal for those of you mm -hmm. old school. Again, for preventing bossom end rot. Mm -hmm. Garden tone. Garden tone, yes. Okay. All right, old schoolers. I I was raised on a small farm mm -hmm. where we did production tomatoes, wow. and we used ten, 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 five, ten, ten. But listen, the technology has changed so much now that all of that stuff it's all chemical, yeah. and what happens is it releases in the soil and it's gone. Oof. It's gone. Not good. So, using a garden tone. Mm -hmm. Right. It's organic. 
It breaks down slow, uh, slow. and it will last for about six weeks. Wow. And then you put it Great. down again. Uh, and listen, when you go it. and you put it down, you're going to mix mm-hmm. it into your garden first. Right. Then you're going to do a side dressing right at the plant after you put it in. And you'll have the best tomatoes, man. They're going to jump out of the ground. They're going to be dark green and healthy. Uh, we love that. And Ooh. they're going to be able to withstand diseases That's and things right. that will attack tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Speaking of which. Wow. Speaking of which. Go ahead. Now we're, now we're, we want those plants super healthy. That's right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that. When you listen to Bloomers in the Garden, we're going to talk about two things, and we'll be consistent on all of them. You do a granular fertilizer and a liquid fertilizer. Both. Okay? Liquid fertilizer is going to be done every other week or so. You're mm-hmm. Every third week, that's okay. You're, it's a, you're going to water it. Water Instead in. of watering with regular water, you're going to water Sorry. your plants with it. And what we recommend is Jack's, Jack's Classic, Classic Tomato wow. Feed. Mm-hmm. And, again, it's F-E, iron, okay? It has some iron Iron. in there. It's a 12, 15, 30. Wow. Okay, Scotts, we love you. Thank you for being a sponsor, but I'm sorry. miracle Grow is too high in nitrogen, according Mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. They do have a tomato version, but I think Jax is just better. Right. Uh, Again, it's for, for good growth from the roots to the foliage, but abundant flowering and fruit set. That's it. Flowering and fruit set. Everywhere there's a flower is going to be a tomato. There you go. Okay. Uh huh. Especially if you use that blossom oh, set. Oh yeah. Now you're gonna really be. <laughs> tell you what, that'll be really good. <laughs> but again, the, the, what they have is the magnesium, magnesium. for improved feeding mm-hmm. results under diverse soil and growing conditions. Right. It has calcium in it. Calcium. Wow. Blossom end rot again that. controls that. Mm-hmm. And use it. Yes. Garden tone. Garden tone. Okay. Your granular mm-hmm. every six to eight weeks. And then Jack's Gosh. Classic Tomato Feed. It's a Waters. 12, 15, 30, water-soluble. You mix it wow. up and with water. You can use a garden sprayer if you have one. Right. Uh, you can use a watering can. Right. You can, it, you you can use, I'm not going to say it because I can't, uh-huh. but you can use <laughs> a garden feeder. Feeder. There you go. Let's leave it like that, okay? Mm-hmm. You can use, it's the same basic dilution rate. Wow. Uh, it's gonna that be that blue color, Beautiful. but that's the one that you want to use. There okay, you Jack's Classic Tomato Feed. Awesome. Got it. There Got you it. Go super tomatoes, Alan. <laughs> okay. So yes. Next, mm-hmm. tomatoes get bugs. That's right. Okay, they get bugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of the insects that that drive me crazy. Which one? Colorado potato beetle. Oh boy. They they look like gelatin. Ugh. Little terrible. Things that are eggs that are orange on the uh, undersides of the leaves, they grow into these oh, like rubbery things. Mm. Here's what I want you to get: I want you to get one diatomaceous earth. What is that? Because it will control mm-hmm. most of the insects that are feeding in the soil and okay. soft-bodied insects like caterpillars and things. Okay, that's but a dust- it's about the soil too. It's a dust. It's a. Dust- it, it is. It is diatomaceous earth. Everybody knows what that is. It looks like that stuff you put in the filter, but it's different. There's different grades. So Mm -hmm. you want to do it. That's one for plants. Mm -hmm. You want to get Captain Jack's. Captain Jack's is an organic insecticide. Spinosad is the active ingredient. Again, from our buddies at at, (laughs) right (laughs) Bonide. They they have this thing. It is Mm -hmm. a lot of insects become resistant to things like seven and... Mm -hmm. Malathion and all that stuff smells like it's bad for yeah. you because it is. Yeah. <laughs> this is an organic. 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 Yeah. Dead bug brew kills everything from borers to gypsy moss. Yeah. It, it you just want it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And bonim is just like it sounds yeah, like it's use. neem oil. Mm-hmm. Okay. It also the the it has a uh, permethrin, I think it is in there. I'm not I'm not totally sure. Mm-hmm. I don't have the my notes in front of me, but it is organic. Everything from stink bugs, because wow. if the Captain Jacks isn't going to work, the Bonneem Bonne will. So three products, right. Captain Jacks, Bonneem, Diatomaceous Earth, Earth, you're covered. Uh, all of your insects. There you go. And Bonneem also has properties for disease control. Wow. All right. Yeah. So. Shoo, you're that's, covered. That's what you need. Three items. 
can't beat Con- that. You'll control hornworms, mm-hmm. those giant caterpillars that look like uh, you know yeah, cigars. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Cabbage loopers, those Cabbage little loopers. white butterflies. Uh, Everybody at Bloomers, little kids. Oh, yeah, look how cute. cute! I grab them and kill them. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they are the worst. Imported, <laughs> imported cabbage. They're looper. always all over they, the place. They, they're just uh, the worst. Terrible. All of a sudden, you've got no leaves left on your I plants. Know. Terrible. Again, mm-hmm. get those items. Exactly. All right. We've got to take our last break, and we'll be back right after this. Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question, even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way, that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. Spring has sprung, and it's time to visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bring us a soil sample, and we'll test your soils pH-free. Heck, bring us a water sample from your pond, too, and we'll test that for ammonia and other critical levels. Did you know that Bloomers has a pond department? We have all of the water treatments, fish, and plants to keep your pond looking glorious year-round. Are you looking for that four-step lawn program? Bloomers carries Scott's, Jonathan Green, Bonide, and Espoma's Organic Step Program. Need to seed? Bloomers has its own blend of seed called Township Turf. It's just the right balance of rye, fescue, and bluegrass to give you a spectacular lawn. It's also perfect for repairing bare spots and matches extraordinarily well to sodded lawns. Don't forget the garden. Bloomers carries bumper crop soil amendment and all the fertilizers a garden could need. Both organic and inorganic. The best vegetables start as seedlings from Bloomers. Come visit those who know the friendly folks at Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is located in Washington Township in Gloucester County, New Jersey, just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. For directions and information, visit www.bloomers.com. That's www.bloomers.com. And we'll see you in the garden. See me in Julio down by the schoolyard. See me in Julio down by the schoolyard. Well, Julio, we have used up all of our time. Oh my we goodness. have no time. <laughs> no time. We have just enough time to say, hey, thank you for listening today. Yes. And please call our hotline, 609-685-1880. We'll answer any of your questions. Thank you for listening. Brett, great job today. Yes. Great job. And that we'll see you next week. We'll see you in the garden. See you in the garden. Bloomers in the Garden is an hour-long gardening radio program that airs to over 6 million residents throughout the Delaware Valley. From Allentown to Wilmington, from the Main Line to the Jersey Shore, Bloomers in the Garden can be heard twice each Saturday morning, first at 8 a.m. on 860 WWDB and again at 9 on 610 a.m. ESPN Radio. Each episode of Bloomers in the Garden will be broadcast on Bloomers' Facebook page and available as a podcast on bloomersinthegarden.com. Bloomers in the Garden is adding sponsors. Share your message to our large, diverse group of listeners. Commercials and segment sponsorships are available at incredibly affordable prices. Let Bloomers in the Garden get your message out to one of the largest and most diverse populations in the country. If you're interested in joining us in the garden, please visit bloomersinthegarden.com or email len at bloomers.com.